hello everyone i welcome you all to this microprocessor tutorial series so in this video we will learn about 8085 instructions classification based on the word sizes that means depending on the word sizes we will categorize or we will classify different types of instructions of the 8085 so before starting i would like to inform you that there are two basically parts in an instruction let us consider the instruction move a comma b suppose this one is the instruction given so in this instruction we have to find out the opcode and we have to find out the operand so what is the opcode opcode means it is the operation code so in this instruction what is the meaning of this instruction that is move the content of the register b to the content of the accumulator suppose we have 0 5 8 this is the suppose content then this content will be written into the accumulator this content will be moved to the accumulator we can see that we have the instruction move a comma b here move is the opcode let me show you here here move this one is the opcode or operation code we can say this is the operation code or opcode and this a and b these are the operands opcode means this specifies the tax to be performed by the microprocessor or we can say that opcode represents the function or operation that the microprocessor is going to execute and the operand represents on which the instruction is going to be executed that means operands are usually the data or it may be a memory address or sometimes it may be a register also but basically we can understand that the operands are the data on which operation is being performed by the microprocessor okay so we have understood about the instructions depending on the opcode and the operand now let us classify depending on the word sizes there are basically one byte instruction two byte instruction and three byte instruction so first of all let us see what is one byte instruction so what is the one byte instruction here the opcode and the operands we have just now we have learned about the opcode and the operands and in this type of one byte instruction the opcode and the operands of an instruction are represented by one byte only so we have to take some examples so in this example this one was the example this example is nothing but this is the one byte instruction so let me write down here move a comma b here this complete instruction is contained in one byte of data one byte means it in the eight bit of data one byte in a 085 represents eight bit of data that means the 8085 microprocessor has 8 bit width of data bus. The data bus width is of 8 bit wide. Therefore, 8 bit of data is called as 1 byte. Let me write down here on the side 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. So, in this instruction, this move is the opcode. So, what is the operation code? There are certain operation code given to the microprocessor instructions. So, for the opcode for move is 78H. This is a hex code and the code address is 78. Okay. This is the opcode or hex code for this instruction. And this complete instruction will be contained within this opcode. So here the B is the register, A is the accumulator. So B register here means that the content of the register B will be moved to content of the accumulator. That means whatever be the previous content of the accumulator, it will be rewritten with the content of the B. So this is one byte of instruction. Now let us take another example that is the add B. So what is the meaning of this add B? Add the content of the register B to the content of the accumulator. Here also, we are using accumulator as one of the operand. This is one instruction. The content of the register B will be added to the accumulator. Here we can see that the accumulator content will be rewritten with A plus B. Whatever be the A plus B result, it will be stored in the accumulator. So this is the meaning of this instruction. Here we can see that this add has the opcode of A it is a hex code also so this is the opcode for this add operation so this is one byte instruction let us take another example that is the 
R A L. R A L means it is the rotate the content of the accumulator to left. So these are the few examples of one byte instructions. Now let us go to our two byte instruction. So in the case of two byte instruction, the first byte, first byte or first eight bit byte means it is eight bit. It will be the opcode and the second byte second byte will be the operand so let me write down here it is the operand or we can write here it is the data it is the data or we can say that it is either data or address it is a 8 bit or 1 byte data or we can say that it is 8 bit or 1 byte address the first byte is the opcode and the second byte is the 8-bit data or 8-bit address. So this is the second type of instruction that is the 2-byte instruction. 2-byte instruction from the name itself we can understand that it consists of 2-byte. Two 2-byte two means 2 8-bits, 2 times 8-bits. So let us take the first example is MPI, MPI suppose B, comma. 058 so in this instruction this mpi is the opcode so what is the opcode here opcode the hex code will be 3eh 3eh this is the opcode you you need not to write the capital h here this a capital h here represents the hex code okay it is it, uh, this opcode is in hexadecimal number okay 3eh this is the opcode for the mbi instruction 3e if we represent it binary it will be 0 0 1 1 and e means here it is 1 1 1 0 okay and f is 1 1 1 1 this is the opcode for this mbi instruction and here we have b is the register okay and this 0 5 h is the this is the data so here i i is written here you have to keep in mind that the i instruction is actually given for or used for the immediate addressing mode we will see in our later videos what is the addressing mode okay so mbi whenever it has i whenever an instruction has i at the end it means the data is expressed in hex code in the instruction itself so here we can say that this 0 5 h this is the data 0 5 h it will be written into the b 0 5 h this data will be moved to the register b so this is the meaning of the instruction so here we can see that mpi is the opcode and here we have a 8 bit or 1 byte of data this is one byte of data okay b is registered therefore we need not to give any kind of here data allocation okay so this is one two byte instruction now let us consider another two byte instruction so suppose here we have a n i so what is the meaning of a n i so let me write down the instruction first suppose f 0 h here the a n i a n i represents means a n means it is the and operation logical and operation of the this data with the content of the accumulator it is the immediate addressing mode so here suppose the content of the accumulator is suppose a9 this is a hex code okay a9 if we represent it binary what will have 1010 okay and 9 means 1001 so this is the content of the suppose accumulator next we are given that the data is given this this is f0 so f is 1111 and 0 means 0000 so if we do the n operation that means multiplication we can say that the 10 it is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 so this is the content of the accumulator after the n operation so this will be stored in the accumulator after this and operation so this is the logical and operation between the content of the accumulator and the given data the given data is f 0 h this is the given data here so this is the two byte instruction okay and here we can see that this is the opcode for a and i here the opcode is this is e6 e6 this is the opcode e6 h or hex code we can say this is the opcode for the a and i instruction now let us move to third type of instruction that is the three byte of instruction 
so in the case of three byte instruction first byte will be the output so here let me write down first byte so first byte is the output or we can say that it is the operation code and the second and the third byte second and the third byte these are the 16 bit data or at the 16 bit data or 16 bit address okay usually address in the 8085 is represented in 16 bit only so here the second and the third byte let me write down here the here the second and the third byte is the 16 bit data or 16 bit address it may be any one of these two so first byte is the opcode so in this type of three byte instructions what will have the first byte is the opcode and the second and the third byte is the 16 bit data or 16 bit address now let us take one example so before going to example let me write down here what will be the second byte second byte will be the lsb okay lsb or the lower order byte and third byte what will be the third byte this is the msb of the given data or address msb this is the higher order byte so what is the meaning of byte this is the eight bits of data so the second byte will represented by the lower order bits will represent the lower order bits and the third byte will represent the higher order bits so now let us take one example in the case of three byte instruction suppose we have lxi so what is the meaning of this lxi lxi means load okay lxi full instruction will be h comma suppose two zero four zero h okay suppose this is the given address or given data we can say it is the given data because it is the immediate instruction or immediate addressing mode lxi this is nothing but this is the 16 bit data we can see 4 bit hex code so using this instruction this data will be loaded to the hl pair so here h represents the hl pair so this instruction will load the hl pair with the value 2040h okay so this is the one byte or the opcode so what is the opcode for lxi opcode for lxi is this is 21 h 21 h and this is the first byte what will be the second byte second byte let me write down here second byte we have already seen that the second byte is the lower order byte or lower order 8 bits second byte will be here 40 or we can write in binary it is 0 1 0 0 and 0 means it is 0 0 0 0 it is in binary okay this is the second byte and if we see the third byte this one is the higher order or the msb okay higher order byte or the msb 8 bits so here we have this is 28 so these are hex code and if we represent it in binary what will have 2 means 0 0 1 0 and 0 means 0 0 0 0 this is the binary representation so the first byte is the 21 h we can represent this opcode in binary as well so this will be 0 0 1 0 and 1 will be 0 0 0 1 we have seen three different types of instructions in the case of 8085 so let us take another example suppose we have lda c 050 so this is upon the suppose the second example so here we can see that this is the load load the content of this hex address to the accumulator okay so whatever be the content of this address this is not the immediate addressing mode okay so here lda this is the opcode opcode or the this is the first byte of the three byte instruction so what will be the first byte this is nothing but 3a h this is the content of the opcode or this is the opcode of the lda instruction or the lda opcode here we have 16 bit address so whatever be the content so what will be the second byte content second byte here we can see that we have to load the data from this given address and this address is not the data on which we have to perform or which we have to load into the accumulator okay second byte will be the lsb 
so here also we can write this is l s b least significant bit in case of or we can say the least significant byte here in this case so what are the lsb in c050 here we can see that lsb is this is 50 what will be the third byte in the case of third byte this is the msb so let me write down here this is the msb or the most significant bit so here we'll have c0 this c0 will be loaded with the or c0 is the third byte in this instruction what we have to perform load the content of this memory address to the accumulator suppose we have the content here suppose we have a memory stack suppose this is the location c050 and this is the suppose content 8e so 8 is the content of this location okay and 8e will be written to the accumulator so after executing this instruction this 8e will be the content of the accumulator and 8e this is a 8 bit or 1 byte data okay because the accumulator is of 8 bit width in the case of 8085 microprocessor so this 8e will be loaded into the accumulator so in this video we have learned about various instruction sizes word sizes of the 8085 instructions so we have seen different three types of instructions it is a one byte instruction two byte instructions and three byte instructions we have seen with example so this much for today thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you